and flannel let's do this i want to i want to see where you're at then i'm going to respond and tell you where i'm at then we're going to let the people see where they're at is that fair that is fair all right let's cut the shit and get into it all right so i'll start really quick with uh last night for example and let's i'll just start with this i'm not always here but I'm always here. Ooh, bar, Boo. bars. Okay, and the point is, is that yesterday I was tuning into the show, and Neil, the amount of dismissiveness you were giving to Ooh. one Alex Nedeljkovic was, I would say, borderline a little bit shameful. Talk because about you know who you should be giving that ire towards? Mr. Alex Lyon, who saved 78% of his shots last night. Alex Lyon, who's actually having a worse season than Alex Nedeljkovic is. It's just... And Alex Nedeljkovic, who also beat you earlier on in this uh, stretch of bad hockey where he allowed three goals and Alex Lyon allowed six. So uh, that's a little bit of karma. I know Alex Nedeljkovic was not good last year with, with, with a Detroit or really any time with Detroit, but he kind of gave Detroit a little, he gave him a little comeuppance, even though he himself did not have a good game either. It was an offensive game. But second of all, overall, it's just, it just continues the downward spiral. It continues the collapse in which, and I've got the numbers for you, in the last 20 games, the Detroit Red Wings have scored 2.5 points. Flannel, the la it doesn't matter. It does no, matter. No, no, it doesn't yes. matter, Flannel. Uh -oh. It does not matter. They're a point back in the playoffs with three to go. That's it, that's all. All right, fine. Oh, that's shit. it, that's all. You, because every number you're going to give me, I will give you the same thing that the Penguins did, the same thing that the Capitals did, the same thing that the Flyers did. You mean the Penguins that are 2-0 and against you in this stretch of bad hockey? Uh -huh. You mean the Capitals, whose last two wins have came against the Red Wings? Wow! Yeah, sandwiched around their nine losses in that frame. But yeah. they sure can beat the Red Wings. They sure can uh -huh. come into LCA off of a six-game losing streak and beat the Red Wings. They sure can have their goalie put his nuts on every single member of the Red Wings <laughs> offensive players' chins. I understand in that particular game, it's like, oh, they played well, but they played a hot goalie. Fine. That doesn't excuse the times, the four times in which you've been shut out in this 20-game stretch. This yeah. doesn't excuse the 12 times in which you've allowed more than four goals. This doesn't, this doesn't excuse the eight times in which you've scored two or less. Okay, get to the in point. This position. You should not be in a position where you, yeah. where you have to go into Toronto. Which, for, which, which, okay, go ahead, and then I'll tell you the, the real spot. The Red Wings are 1-7-3 and three in their last 11 mm -hmm. road games. You think they're going into Toronto and winning? You can laugh about Toronto as a franchise versus the Red Wings as a franchise. What you can't argue is that Toronto, at least over the last seven years, has been a damn good regular season team and has given the Red Wings a lot of regular season ass whoopings. If you think they're not capable of that, then you're just, you're just being delusional. I'm sorry. Okay, so this Washington game that you celebrate, who's a longer shot to make the playoffs, Flannel? The Red Wings or the Capitals? We're, it's not just the Red the Wings or the Capitals. Who? The longer shot, the Capitals. Well, well man, I thought I thought that they were locked in and, and they beat in. the Red Wings in the biggest games of the year. They did. See, now, guys, you got to remember this here because I know it's been a long time. And look, driving in today and then on the treadmill at Planet Fitness, I had an epiphany. Okay. It did not cost me 50 at Tiffany's, KG. Hey. All right. Here's the epiphany. It's been a long time. You know, you, it's like Goodfellas. You know, I know you were away a long time. You know, you ain't been around for a while. Right. Red Wings fans haven't been around for a while. So I see things like this where uh, in the woodwardsports.com chat thread, um, where I see this, where I see Red Wings need to win out. Everybody else needs to lose the rest of their games. Not true. See, if you're going to talk about this, then get educated about it. They are one point back. With three games to go. Fine. That's where they are. And the, the playoff, the team that's had the last playoff spot, it's been different the last three nights. You guys act like you're chasing down the Panthers or the Bruins or something like that. You're not. It's a bunch of 500 teams, Flannel, that take turns losing. The Capitals lost again last night. They fell out of the spot. The Penguins are in there. The Wings were in there. Like, you guys act like this is some, like, some chase for the ages or something like that. No, these are 500 hockey teams, man. They're all the same. They are all the same. Well... The Islanders, I think they're locked into the last division spot. The now. Islanders, who haven't won as many games as the Red Wings have had. Again, we're not talking about Mary... The Blake. Penguins, who haven't won as many games as I the Red Wings have. Land. The Capitals, who haven't won as many games as the Red Wings have. If you want to deal in facts, which you're so about, then how come the Red Wings have won more games? This is hockey. Why? This is hockey where even if... You can dislike the rule all you want. You can hate it. You can say that it's stupid. And the Red Wings benefited from it last night, by the way. You can say it's stupid, but it is the way that it yeah, is Yeah, right and the now. Islanders have benefited from it 15 times. They benefited the more Capitals than The Capitals have benefited 12 times. The, the, 
The Penguins have benefited from it 12 times, which, oh, by the way, is a three-point difference. And good for them. You'll be seeing the Islanders in the playoffs. You'll probably be seeing the Penguins in the playoffs. You That's won't how be this is the set up. It's set up for this. All right. Like, I know you I know, again, I know it's Red Wings fans. We haven't been relevant a decade, so we don't understand how this works. It's set up this way, Flannel. It's set up this way. This is the way it was always going to be. So the people are like, this is over. They suck. They have to win out. Everyone else has to lose. No, you don't. All the Red Wings, Flannel, all the Red Wings have to do, all they have to do is win their games, and all the other teams can go 2-1 and one if they want, and the Wings are in. They're not winning out. If you think, what Neither makes are you, any of these other teams. What makes you think they're winning what out? What makes you think any of these other teams are going to win out? I'm not sure. I mean, I think so. You speak in absolutes like that. All the people in the chat, you tell me. So, what makes you think that the Capitals or the Penguins or the Flyers are going to win out too? Uh, the Flyers, I could see it. They have two home games, but they only have two. But uh, speaking well, of which, the, the Flyers won last night. Right, and and the, and the Capitals and the Capitals and the Penguins still have to play Boston yet. Yes. Who is going for a division championship? One up, one point up on the Panthers. Pretty important, right? Pretty important to them to win. Can we at least can right? We... Is that pretty important for them to win? Well, yeah, it's important for them to win. Okay. But was it vitally important for the Penguins to beat the Red Wings last night? There it. There... It was until yes. the next game. Okay, fine. So that game is just irrelevant. You can you yes, because that's how okay, this works. Fine, fine. That's how this works. You can go. This five... is the path right now. You can go five, twelve, and three in your last twenty games and completely choke away your season, and everything's fine. They should never be in this position where. They're fighting for that last wild card. They spot. should never be in this position where they're a 500 team. They are a 500 team. Last night showed you that was everything you needed to see. Why are the Red Wings better? They're a one line team. They're a one line team. And that's what they were. Now, I was told about depth and scoring depth and all that kind of stuff. And everyone's, you know, Debrinket had three assists last oh, night. Dear God. Did he not? Let's not talk Did he about not? Alex Debrinket. Did he not? You did he not? You, this is the water you're carrying for Alex to bring. Did if he it, not? If it was Alex, to flannel. Bring, you said he's got to show up. Is three assists showing up? One goal in the last twenty games. No, 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 flannel. No, no, no. He's no, flannel. Eh. Flannel. No, no, no. You get three assists. That means you you score. You were responsible for three goals. Fine. You know what else? You know what it would have what it would have been nice. They're for a one line show team, up? flannel. It's what they are. It would have been nice for him to show up when Dylan Larkin was out and they went to, and they and they went two and six and Alex Debrinket scored two points. It would have been nice in that five game stretch when Lucas Raymond gave you seven and Alex Debrinket gave you one point. It would have been nice in those four games in which the Red Wings were every shut team out. in this every team in this chase can say that stuff. Every what? team in this chase, Alex Debrinket has. They're re they're choked. mid teams, flannel. They're regular teams. They're five hundred teams. That's what they all are. You act like you act like the Red Wings are like head and shoulders above the Penguins. Who, by the way, last night you see him cooking right now. And but hey, if you you want me to get critical about the Red Wings, win a faceoff in overtime. Fine. They lose the opening faceoff. They don't touch the puck again for a minute. Fair. And Fair. actually. They did win the faceoff after Crosby got kicked out of the circle. And what did Crosby do? Something that a guy who has a thousand assists in this league jumped the faceoff, got control of the puck, and they dominated the overtime. One of the greatest. Dominated we've the ever overtime. Seen. And Dylan Larkin, he had a look to win the game, right? Yeah. Did he not? Yeah. No. Is, oh, is that, is that Dylan the same? Dylan Larkin has had a point again oh. since he's come back from injury. The fact that you are defending <laughs> Alex Dabrinkit is shameful. Soft on Dabrinkit. Like some people say, soft on crime. You're soft on Dabrinkit. Uh -huh. You're soft on the Red Wings. It's a Damn. joke. It's an absolute Damn. joke. Alex Dabrinkit has no show these last 20 games. A lot of times when the team needed him most. It's one goal in 20 games is a disgrace. You can talk about the depth pieces all that you want. And he had three was... assists last Fine. night, Flannel. You know what? how many games he had? Zero goals, zero assists? Quite a few. That's what happens when you have 10 points in 20 games. That's a, f that's a, a fourth of the season in which you're basically on what? Like a So why, why is this pace? political right now? Why, why are we doing Larkin v. Debrinket? The Last night was the biggest game of the year, right? Until the next one? Because that's the way this works? If he, he showed out. He showed up last night. Get three assists. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, because they're a one-line team, Flannel. And you know what that one line is? The one that Debrinket's on all the time. All and right. notice how when they take Kane off that one line and put him on the second line? Where was Kane last night? Where was Kane? Kane was also much more impactful. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Last, last, night. last night is all that matters, Flannel. And then against <laughs> Toronto on Saturday, that's all that matters again. Okay, congratulations. Because that's the you nature of this beast. You can your season and it doesn't even matter. It means nothing. Alex Dabrinkit's actually been good these last 20 games. He's been great. He, he had three assists in a game. That, that, abol that absolves him of everything. That's a joke. Alex Dabrinkit is a guy who's had two 40-goal seasons. Two. 
You, we want to talk about the adept pieces all that we want, and none of them have showed up. I mean 0.0, .0 of them. Comfer hasn't showed up. Cop is hurt now. He hasn't showed up. Rasmussen hurt now, but he didn't show up. Valeno, Fabry, we can... Sprong got benched. We can talk about them all that we want. None of them have had 40 goal seasons. Only one of them has had a 20 goal season. Daniel Sprong once. Give there me more season long stats instead of the game I that know, mattered last long, night. Last this. night. I know. Last night mattered, right? Last you night said it. Matter. It did matter. And they lost because their defense couldn't was terrible. And Alex Lyon shit the bed like he's done many, many times. But anytime we want to levy any criticism. So at he's Alex, not good. So they don't have a good goaltender. You're saying they don't really. They don't. So you expect them to be a, a 16 and four hockey team all the time without yep. a goalie. I don't. You know what I expect? Without a goalie. And I know. Give me the path, then flannel. Give me the path to have a goalie. There was a stretch, and I know you won't. You don't want to hear about the season, but you're gonna hear about the season. Every single one of you is gonna hear about the season, whether you like it or not. Remember when they went on that seven-game losing streak, and then they won one, and then they lost one. They lost eight out of nine, and in every single one of those games, they gave up four or more goals. If you think that that's acceptable. If you think that that's, that that's remotely even not choking, I don't know what to tell you. It was just a flip was switched and all of a sudden they suck. 5-12-3 and three in a 20-game stretch is a disgrace and it matters. It's a quarter of your season in which you've been The asked. Capitals that you say so great are 2-9 and nine in their last 11, Flannel. 2-9. And, we'll and, and we'll see whose implosion hurt. I don't think either of them will make it. I think Pittsburgh will make it. Obviously, we're going to see the Islanders get the third spot in the Metro, but I think the Pit I think the Metro! Will make it. Hey, yeah. Shout <laughs> I wanted out. to throw that in there. Yeah. Shout out, shout out. I don't think either of them will make it. I think Pittsburgh's going to make it. And now Philly has a chance. They've imploded too. And I, I know it's not the Red Wings. Philadelphia, Washington, and Detroit. Philly's Apple. plus 700 to make the playoffs. Well... I guess the Red Wings have better odds. They do have a couple of more games. But like I said, I expect them to lose two out of three. Philly only has two games left, Flannel. I know. I know they do. They're both at home, which doesn't mean a whole lot because they've dropped a lot of home games lately, but they did win at New York, which is crazy. But. Man, so there's variance, huh? There is variance. But. Weird. Can, can you at least agree that in the last stretch, what have they been? Like 1-7-3 and three in their last 11 road games? If, if, if you're me and you say, I don't like your chances to go into Toronto and win, I'm not crazy. I know No, you're win, not crazy. Right. I know their one road, road win was against Tampa Bay, which was impressive, but it's hard to win on the road. And you're going into Toronto, who has been a regular season, I wouldn't say forced, but a regular season consistent winner over seven years. Yeah, who is locked into their spot. Can't go uh, up, can't go down. They technically could. I, I, can't, they, can't go up, can't go down. Let me see. I thought that they... Go ahead, Flannel. Look at the numbers. Oh uh, wait. They could technically pass Florida, but it would take it would take like they're not going to pass Florida. A collapse, like right, Flannel? It would take th that's one where it actually would be 3 and 0 versus versus uh 0 and 2 actually. The Panthers only have two more games. But yeah, they're pretty I get it. They're 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 pretty much uh, strapped in, but we shall see. We shall see. That's uh, a, Kevin Donaldson, that's got to be a new record for Flannel exploding. Yeah. yeah was, I don't think so. That was a little that was a little extended. We got an extended version. That was a good today. one. No, he's definitely exploded more. I have. No, no Diddy. My, my issue is this. Don't speak about it if you don't understand. Like, for the for the texter that was like, Red Wings have to win all their games and everyone around them has to lose. That is not accurate. If the Red Wings go 3-0, and everyone else can go 2-1. and And guess what? The Red Wings are in. That's fair. And I never... Obviously, I know that they're not out of it, and getting a point was big. Shout out Lucas Raymond, by the way, who I will not have any slander for for this season, nor should any of you, and I don't think any of you do. He's been the best player on the team. Absolutely. He no, very good. He has. Very good. He has taken a leap that I didn't even know he was capable of. So shout out to Lucas Raymond. What a He's been one of those guys that even in this stretch of bad hockey has played well. Who drafted him? Steve Eiserman. Weird. Great pick. Great pick. Cider was a great pick. Edvinson looks when, like wait, it's going to be a good Wait, he got both pick. those guys? He did. Edvinson <laughs> looks like it's going to be a good pick as well. We'll I mean we, we'll see, but I So everything say, everything looks like it's pretty much on course then. Uh, I would say that there's not one depth piece on the entire team that I'm happy with that I could give a shit about right now. I don't think that that's unfair actually. You you've seen how bad their defense well, is. Well, is it is there not one depth piece that you give a shit about or is it the team with the most double digit goal scorers in the in NHL? Which well, one is it? Which they've, one is it? They've took. They've all pretty much all of them have taken a really bad time to a start no showing. I'll just say that. Or oh, getting, really? Yeah. So the Red Wings are just a one line team. Right now. Oh well, right now, of course they are. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Weird. 
Like, if, if I'm looking at Red Wings who have had a good season this year, I look at Lucas Raymond, I look at Mo Sider, I look at Patrick Kane, I look at Dylan Larkin, <clears throat> and I look at, I think I mentioned Mo Sider, and then Simon Edvinson, I would say, for the time that he's been up, has been good. And to me, that's it. You can talk about Alex Dabrinkit all you want, but for the last 20 games, I'm going to call him by a new game. Alex Kubalik. Dominique Ooh, Dabrinkit. Damn. <laughs> One goal and 10 points. It's funny, they're a one-line team. Who's always on that line, though, all season? Who was that's weird? Who was not seeing power play minutes against Washington? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's the right decision or not. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great call, great fair. call. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, I think, uh, I think too. I think is it safe to say we can ride out with the with the Larkin, Debrinket, uh, Raymond line the rest of the way, or not? Nah? Sure. No. Sure. I just, it, it, it worked well like last three night. three goals and six just, assists from a line in a game is not enough for you, That huh? was fantastic. I'm just, I'm not. It's not enough for you? I'm not absolving Alex Dabrinkit of this 20-game stretch of misery. I'm just not doing it. If they make the playoffs. Then you do, right? If they then make, you do? No, if they make the playoffs. Then you do. Then I will remember this game a lot more. If they miss the playoffs, I will, I will Well, man, remember. that must be nice to sit in a no-lose situation for you, huh? Just sit there and cherry pick the result Cher Mike, drop great life huh one goal in 20 games is not cherry great picking. great life you no live. showing the entire time where dylan larkin was out when they needed someone to step up is not cherry picking it's just not man that's a great life to live alex to is a sidekick he's a damn good sidekick but that's all he is well no nobody nobody said that he was crosby that's fair when, we, when, have, when have i ever said that i also didn't expect him to set not his career low in goals but probably his, his second to career low because he's not getting three in the last three games He's not. I don't care what anybody says. What have you seen in the last 20? He's been due for a heater for like almost a month now. <laughs>